I started writing article for Black Belt Magazine back in, well, technically I started writing in 1980. The first article I ever published was January 1981, Black Belt Magazine. Uh, so I, you know, people knew who I was. Uh, I would go places and be like, oh, you're that Chris Thomas guy. And uh, as much as I could, I actually, um, you know, at first I was the only person I could use for the photographs, so I was in all the photographs of the articles. But there's whole periods of time where you see articles where I don't appear at all. And, I, and, and, you know, I just had no interest in sort of putting myself out there that way. Um, but still people knew who I was. I was interested in the writing because the writing for me was a way of training. It was a kind of way of, of uh, exploring new ideas, but also of giving back to the martial arts community. I really felt that, I, you know, it was my obligation to give back. And this is a way to do it. And uh, so I, I kept writing and people kept recognizing me. And I started becoming a person who was well known. And um, uh, I had progressed at, I, without realizing it. I was becoming, I don't know, what's the word, an expert? master, whatever that means, I don't know, I, but I was noticing that I knew stuff. I mean, I would go to a seminar sometimes and people would be teaching and I'd go, huh, I know all of this. I actually can remember going to a seminar and writing on my little notepad, just do what you already know. Um, I, I, it was weird. It was weird. And so at some point you start feeling like, you know, yeah, I'm pretty cool, master's here, you know. I was at a, a Wally J seminar. I had the opportunity to interview Wally J. I think it was the last real interview um, of his life. This was way back. I mean, this was a decade ago or something. And um, he was, this was the last seminar he taught, really taught. All of his people were together. It was in Indianapolis and it was hosted by my good friend, Will Higginbotham. And it was great. I mean, it was a really good seminar. And, uh, and, and Wally taught and it was, he was, you know, in his deep into his 80s and whatever. It was just wonderful. He, uh, I had to go find him for the interview. And I was walking with my colleague, Dusty Seal. And, uh, you know, I saw some people and, and I said, hey, do you, know where, um, do you know where a professor is? And they said, well, I don't know. I think he's up in his room because, you know, he's got to be interviewed by that Chris Thomas guy. And I went, oh, yeah, that Chris Thomas guy. I heard that. Thanks. <laughs> See, I'm from Minnesota. In Minnesota, I, I, you grow up learning, you know, don't, you shouldn't think too highly of yourself. You're nothing special. That was a great reminder. Nothing special. I'm Chris Thomas. Really, I'm Chris Thomas. <laughs> These are some reflections from the master class. Thanks for watching. Now, go train.